It is very sad to see what's happening in the UK. The riots, acts of violence, uh, acts of uh, hate and attacks on uh, Muslims and immigrants who may happen to be non-Muslim as well. It is very important for us to understand the underpinnings of such actions and the mindset of those uh, who are uh, racist and biased. Now, to cut a long story short, um, we have to understand a few concepts of social psychology. And this is the first thing that may come to your mind when you see someone from the far right generalizing about uh, the others. It's we against them. They would see all the imperfections of the other group, of the them, of the immigrants, uh, blacks, Muslims, etc. But they would not see the imperfections of their in-group. And this is uh, known as implicit bias. By definition, as you can see here, an implicit bias is an unconscious association, belief, or attitude toward any social group. Implicit biases are one reason why people often attribute certain qualities or characteristics to all members of a particular group, a phenomenon known as stereotyping. So this is it in brief from a social uh, psychology, uh, if you want to say, uh, viewpoint. Uh, we tend to see uh, all the imperfections of the others and we only see the good side or the bright side of us or our group. Now, as a Muslim, I believe that if there was a Muslim who committed any crime, he should be punished like anyone else. Islam does not endorse any criminal behavior, any unjustified act of violence. Islam allows and permits fighting back in uh, the battlefield against enemy combatants. It does not by any means uh, justify an act of violence against uh, non-Muslims because they are non-Muslims. Islam does allow, uh, you know, fighting back under the state, not as in terms of vigilante uh, violence or, uh, you know, acts. Uh, there must be a state that, uh, if one say decides to fight back enemy combatants, and it is strictly prohibited to inflict any harm on civilians, on uh, innocent civilians of any faith. And the instructions are very clear. You can check Surah number 2, verse 190. You can check the many instructions, prophetic instructions, prohibiting any form of harm against uh, civilians. Now, this is a side note, but uh, the problem here is that there are some groups of people in Britain. Uh, you can say they are the far right. Uh, you know, they have some racial viewpoints. Uh, they may discriminate against, uh, against uh, if you want to say, immigrants, Muslims, uh, some racial groups. They should um, rise above this if you want to say low uh, way of viewing others and it is it is not rational it is not um, objective this way is totally unacceptable I believe that uh, there are many people in Britain uh, who believe in coexistence who believe in uh, you know justice and fairness even uh, with other groups you see and um, they don't tolerate and accept acts of injustice or crimes or hate crimes against immigrants or any group in Britain those people are the I want to say the rational peacemakers in, in Britain but those who are uh, attacking uh, immigrants and Muslims and race, some racial groups, uh, these people should be stopped. These people should be stopped by law.
and uh, groups, the groups who are living there should be protected. When you, as a Brit, would see that, look, there's a criminal and he happened to be Muslim, or there's a criminal who happened to be an immigrant or a black person, you should see at the same time that there are so many medical doctors and professors who happen to be Muslim, who happen to be immigrants, who happen to be uh, from other racial groups. And you should respect and appreciate that. You see, because the um, society, the community in Britain relies on such people. Such people are serving the society, serving the community as much as anyone in your in-group, if you are a person who is in the far right. So we need to put some reason back into the minds of those people and there must be an end to this irrationality and uh, uncivilized uh, behavior and hate crimes. And I hope and I pray that people of reason and people of wisdom would uh, rise up and put an end to all this. and. Uh, Hopefully, I hope that uh, we can help putting some sense back into the minds of those uh, hooligans and uncivilized people who are blinded by hate and prejudice. Peace to all. Take care of yourselves and be safe.